Welcome to our channel. Today we will be learning about the types of settlements and then we'll identify these types of settlements on the topographical map. So let's start. So settlements are of three types. We have the nucleated settlement, the linear settlement and the scattered settlement. These are the three types of settlements. So let's study about the nucleated settlement. So what's a nucleated settlement? If you see the diagram, the buildings, the houses are very close to each other. They are in a cluster. So this type of settlement is also often referred to as the clustered settlement. They are mainly found in the plains and the valleys. And mainly the main reason why this settlement has developed is the availability of water and the fertility of the land. That has helped in the development of agriculture. So such settlements are basically found in regions where the land is fertile and there is availability of water. And as the settlement develops, we will find that all the essential facilities are also coming up in this region. For example, we have the post office, the police station, the hospital that come up, even the market that come up with time as the settlement develops. So you will see that these are this is the nucleated settlement where the houses are in a cluster, in a very compact, in a close together form. Okay, so let's identify nucleated settlement on the topographical map. So if you see here, this is a settlement name Anadra and here if you see it's a nucleated settlement. The houses are very close together and you will also find the important facilities over here in the settlement. You have the police jockey over here. You have the hospital. You have the post office over here. And why this settlement has developed? First thing, we see that there are there is availability of groundwater over here in this region. So availability of water is there. We also see that agriculture is being practiced in this region, the surrounding area, which means that the land is fertile. It's a plain land, fertile land with easy availability of water. And also we have the important facilities that have come up in this region. So the settlement is developing. So this is an Adra settlement which is a nucleated settlement. Another settlement also we will see in this map that is also a nucleated settlement. It is the settlement called Vahan. Yes, this settlement is also a nucleated settlement. The houses are again close together. We also have a river over here though it's a seasonal river but still the source of water is also river. We also have the groundwater around. We also have the agriculture land. That means it's a fertile land. As we can see, it's colored in yellow. So this is indicating that the land is cultivated and thus it has helped in the development of this settlement. Okay. So next type of settlement which we have is the linear settlement. So let's see what is a linear settlement. A linear settlement is the one that has developed in a line. Yes, as the name itself is suggesting linear, that means they are developing in a line. The houses are developing in line. Why they have developed? These settlements actually have come up along major roadways, railways or maybe sometimes even rivers and coast. So they follow the line of the road, the railway line or the river. If you see here, the river is being followed and the settlement has come up along the river. The major road is there. It's a metal road. Settlement have come up along the road. Both sides of the road, you will find the settlement, the house is being developed. And these settlements with time, they grow and become important trading centers. Roads, they help in transportation. Rivers are also an important means of transportation if it's a especially a perennial river or even it's a coastal area then also it helps in the loading and unloading of ship which helps in easy movement of goods and people and if it's a railway line again the railway station come up and it also help in the 
unloading and loading of goods and people so the settlement with time flourish and become important trading centers so again we'll see a small settlement but it's also a linear settlement which has come up again in this map if you see yes this is a metal road it's a very important road we can see and here the either sides of the road you will find houses the pakka houses have come up yes so here the road the roadway is the major reason why this settlement has developed over here obviously there are other factors as well but the settlements the houses are coming up along the major roadway so this is a linear settlement the next type which we have is the scattered settlement yes the scattered settlement as the name itself is suggesting it's scattered over okay so we find the houses and huts are very far from each other okay and basically the settlement we find in regions where the population is very less regions having sparse population have the scattered settlement if you see here we have the huts or the small homes we houses scattered over a region yes there is absence of any proper road see this is also a cart track this is a kachcha road so you will not find any proper road where this scattered settlements are there usually they are found over hilly regions forested areas where the environment is not suitable for people to settle so you will find very little people staying over there very few people living there thus the settlement is scattered over also in the desert areas we find some settlements of some settlement come up between the sand dunes okay so that is also a type of scattered settlement so we will find we will see we'll again locate scattered settlement on the topographical map now this is a map which is showing a desert area how will you know that you will find there are brown dots yes what are those brown dots showing they are showing the sand dunes yes if you look closely you will find there are huts yes you will not even find pakka houses you will find mainly huts that's the kachcha houses around scattered around this region yes so this is an example of scattered settlement i'll show you some huts here there is one hut yes you will find another one here another one here so this type of settlement is the called the scattered settlement because you will not find huts or houses close together so that's all for today i hope you like the video thank you